Hi guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing a face mask for your pores. It's called the uh, Hell Pore Cleanup Mask. I believe it's a Korean skincare product. I'm not sure. It's got some uh, kind of Japanese Korean looking uh, markings on it. I'm not sure that I, be I believe it's Korean though. Um, I saw this on Amazon. It's fairly popular. I believe I've seen it on a few social media sites. Uh, Instagram. I've seen it a little bit on Facebook. Yeah, it is Korean. Yep. Made in Korea. I don't think that's going to focus. But yeah, it's made in Korea. Um, so it's just a liquid face mask that you put on your pore areas or that where you have like blackheads. I use it on my nose and on my chin. I've never used this product before. Normally I go with um, the uh, pore strips. I really, I'm a big fan of those. So the pore strips that I normally use are the uh, Biore. This is actually a heating mask, but this is the brand of the nose strip that I use. Um, I purchased mine from Dollar General. Uh, they have three different types. They have uh, the regular one, which I guess is just like a normal. Uh, they have a maximum strength, and then they have a charcoal pore, pore, pore strip as well. Um, I'm a big fan of the maximum strength one. That's one. That one normally pulls out a lot of my um, a lot of my blackheads and my blemishes. So that one really works well for me. Um, I know Sephora has a brand, and I believe it's called Bosic. It's B O S I C, and they have some. Theirs are thirty four dollars. I I believe. Don't quote me on that. I believe it's thirty four dollars for a pack of twelve. Um, but theirs are the charcoal kind, um, and personally, I just, I believe the, the Biore Maximum Strength works just as well, um, or actually, I, I believe it works a little bit better, and you get eight for, I believe you get eight for like four dollars at Dollar General. Uh, you can probably eBay or Amazon for a cheaper price, um, or I know they have coupons for these as well. So you could probably get a little bit cheaper of a deal. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get into the reviewing part. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. I believe it was $8 and some change free shipping. Uh, I know with Amazon you can, uh, different buyers will list their product for different prices. So you will probably find some that are more expensive. $8 was the cheapest I was able to find this. Like I said, it is a Korea skincare product, and it's the brand is Elizaveka Milky Piggy. They do carry some other uh, skincare products. One is the popular uh, Carbon Bubble Face Mask. I actually did order that as well. If you wanted me to do a review on that let me know and I will post a video of me trying that. I haven't got it in the mail yet, but when I do, I will if you would like me to. Um, so this is the packaging. It was fairly decent packaging. You know, very, hey George, very colorful. You know, it was, I mean, I was pretty impressed since it came from Korea. Um, when you take it out, it's in a little um, tube like this. And there's the back. Um, the instructions on the back are in, I'm going to say Korean. George. Get down. Wow. This is George, everyone. So the instructions on the back of this are in Korean. However, um, on the actual box itself, they are in English on the side. I don't think that's going to focus. I don't have one of those focusing. I'm using my phone to make this video. So, um, and then it, they are again on the very back of the box in Korean again. Um, how to use after cleansing, use steam to wet or. Okay, so I, I'm gonna guess that they used a translator for the instructions in the English because some of them don't make sense. After cleansing, use steam to will. I guess that's supposed to be wet or sheet to open your pores and apply mask to nose 
and a round nose. Then peel off slowly after 15 minutes and remove the, it's supposed to be serum, but it says sebum from nose surface. So yeah, but I kind of get the gist. I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to actually make sure you get the best results from either the liquid face mask or the pore strips. Um, anytime you're going to be using one of these, you're supposed to clean uh, cleanse your face. Um, that's mainly just so that you can get the dirt and oil off your face uh, so that the uh, product has better connection to your pores. Um, because if you're going to have oil and dirt, it's not going to be like straight contact. So you just make sure you clean your face. Um, another is make sure you clean your face with warm to hot water. And by no means am I telling you to go uh, scold your face um, with some boiling hot water. But the warm or hot water will actually um, help you open your pores, which will give the product better access to get in there and remove more of the dirt. Anytime that you use either the liquid or the the pore strips themselves, you only want to use them at most twice a week. Um, not just because when you use them, you are removing a layer of skin from your face. Wherever you've applied the mask, you're removing that layer. Um, and you don't want to be removing too much at once. So try not to go crazy when doing your, your face mask. So let's go ahead. I'm going to guess we can squeeze it open and see what we got here. And I did already open this. It did have a um, little plastic layer on the inside. I went ahead and took that off before I started the video. Um, it's actually uh, gray in color. I kind of ex I kind of expected it to be black. I don't know why, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. We're just going to squeeze a little out just to kind of get a consistent consistency swatch. Um, it's fairly gooey, kind of thick. What is thick? Um, it does have a, it's a perfume smell. It's not like a real chemically smell, but it does smell like a, I want to say like a florally, I want to say like floral baby powder. That's, that's what I'm going to go to describe it. Floral baby powder. Um, it's not too terribly strong, but it is there. Okay, so I'm back and I kind of want to just tell you the experience of putting it on so far. Um, when I first put it on, it kind of made my eyes burn a little bit. And I think that came from the, like the, the scent of it maybe the chemicals but it made my eyes burn a little bit when I first put it on it's not so much now but that was kind of not a really good sign when you put something on and it makes your eyes burn um, when putting it on you don't want to do too thick of a mask because it does drip down your face and you can kind of see it oh right there good example of what I'm talking about just drip down my face right there I'm just gonna ooh. It up. I think that's good. Um, but yeah, you don't do too thick of a mask. Um, it kind of feels like a, I mean, just like a regular face mask. It doesn't like warm or it wasn't too cold or anything. The only thing I did notice was the eye burning thing, which is not really a good sign, but hopefully it'll peel off a lot and make it worth it. All right. So I'm going to let this guy, this, um, dry and I will get back to you guys in a little bit when I peel it off and let you guys see the results. Okay. So as far as the Hellpore cleanup mask, I would recommend it with uh, certain limitations. Um, if it's really good, uh, if you want to get cover a larger area, I know with the pore strips, normally they're one set size, they just cover your nose um, and then they're, you know, they'll fit on your chin as well. Um, this didn't peel anything off my chin, which was a disappointment. It did peel quite a bit out of my nose, um, not nearly the amount that I wanted to, but I think that's the same with the pore strips. Normally they don't pull out everything that's on your nose. Um, for $8, uh, it's not too bad, you know. Uh, it really just depends on how many uses you think you'll be able to get out of it. 
if it's just something that you're wanting to use on your chin or if it's like one specific spot that you're wanting to use it you'll be able to get more out of it or if you're wanting to use it all over your face you'll get less out of it for the more the more product you use however I will say with the pore strips again you can only use them their certain lengths I know you can cut them but if you're wanting like an all over uh, face mask peel would definitely recommend this like I said did peel quite a bit out of my nose I probably will be repurchasing this um, so yeah um, I know in the beginning I know it did burn my eyes but after it dried didn't really have that problem it's probably just the chemical or the um, scent that they put in it not definitely not a deal breaker for me um, if you guys have any questions for me about uh, this product that I didn't answer in my video, just put a comment below. I will get to those as soon as I can. Um, I will be more than happy to answer, answer anything that you have for me, guys. But thank you for watching. Um, I'll probably be putting some more video out similar to this. Um, subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. Thank you guys for watching. Awesome.